Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you one of the latest uh, large language model called uh, PHI4 from Microsoft and uh, how to run that on Macbook. Let's uh, go to the announce page of the model and uh, there's a very interesting read. Please uh, go to check it out by yourself. I think uh, one thing really standing out is that uh, the benchmark. If you look at uh, this uh, comparison between the PHI4 and other large language model, you can notice that the size-wise, the PHI4 is only around uh, 15. However, the performance-wise, it's kind of 85. It's on the very, very top, right? Basically, it's on par with uh, the really big large language model, like the Llama 3.3, .3, which has 70 billion parameters. Also, the Q1 2.5 has uh, 72 billion parameters. And uh, basically, it uh, only uses around uh, 14 billion parameters, which is able to compete with the 70 billion parameters model. Wow, that's uh, quite uh, impressive. And uh, let's uh, scroll down. We can also see that the one of the feature of the model is the reasoning. And the reasoning can be really good to solve the math problems. So the PHI4 performance on the math, you see that it is one of the best, 91.8. And uh, it's also because it's just a small model, right? So it's basically it's better than the large models. Wow, that's uh, impressive as well. I think those uh, benchmark uh, and the performance speaks uh, for themselves. And uh, let's see how to run it using the MacBook. So there is uh, the openly available ways on Hugging Face. As you can see, there's many, many downloads already. People are really, really interested uh, on it. And, uh, on Macbook, I will use the Olama to easily run it. If you go to the Olama homepage, you go to the models and you search for the PHI4, you can see that uh, this is only one version. Make sure that you have the Olama installed. So I think the Olama installation is quite uh, simple. So on Macbook, you basically you just need to download uh, the Olama file and uh, install for that. And once it's installed, you will able to see there is an icon on the top of your toolbar, as I'm seeing it here. Once you open your terminal, you can get your terminal, you will able to see the Olama command. And let's uh, copy our Olama ROM PHI4, copy that and paste it onto the terminal and the press enter it will start to download uh, the model weight probably take a few minutes to download that okay we see that uh, it uh, completes the download and let's open our resource monitoring this is the ram this is the gpu and by the way, the GPU version is the Apple M3 Pro, Apple Silicon, which has 14 cores. We see that uh, on the terminal, which shows up for the chat interface, we are able to send our message to the large language model and we'll get a response back. So because uh, as, as I mentioned, uh, it uh, is very good at uh, complex reasoning. We can try some uh, questions on that. I prepared uh, several classic uh, questions so we can do a test. And by the way, because we wanted to see the performance, we will add a flag to it, dash dash verbose. So it will, it will able to print uh, the statistics after each inferencing. Let's uh, start with the first one. So this is the called a deductive reasoning, basically a very, very simple math and the understanding about the math. 
So the farmer has seventeen sheep, all but nine run away. How many does the farmer have left? Press enter. Well, we see that uh, it uh, correctly identifies the problem and able to answer it, solve the problem. That's correct. And uh, how about the performance? The performance-wise, the evaluation rate, the last one is uh, 13.57 tokens per second. So I think that's uh, fast enough. Nice. So let's uh, move on to the next one. So let's uh, copy that, paste it, press enter. Okay, so that's correct. And the uh, performance uh, is thirteen point three tokens per second. Similarly, I will try the last one for this short demo. So the last one is a uh, mass problem solving. If the train travels 60 miles per hour and leaves the station at 3 p.m., how far will it have traveled by 6 p.m.? That will be 3 hours times 60. Let's see if the model can get it correct. Press Enter. So it do show the steps that it is thinking in order to solve the problem. And we see that uh, it lay out the logic uh, reasoning behind uh, the mass solving. And I feel it looks nice. First step, calculate the travel time, so three hours. And the second uh, step is, is to use the speed to derive the distance. It's 60 times three equal to 180 miles. Great job. So we see that uh, similarly it's also 13 tokens per second. In terms of the usage of the memory, we see that uh, there is a spike around uh, 75%. So not uh, too much. So I think uh, even you have a smaller machine, even you only have eight gigabytes, that should uh, still be enough. And uh, we see the GPU also when doing the inference around the 100%. That's uh, expected, means it's uh, using all the GPU. So that's what we want. I think uh, PHI-4 is a really, really nice model. I really hope that uh, you can try it and let me know what's the token per second you can get on your machine. And let me know what interesting questions you can ask them. So I, I feel this is, can be a really fun to try. Thank you very much. I hope you find uh, this video useful. Please uh, thumb up, share it, and uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.